Today I'm going to talk about some of the useful new features of the R6 Mark II that wasn't in R6 Mark I. I'm going to talk about the photo features first, and then I'll get into the video. The first feature I'm going to talk about can be found on the camera menu, page number 9. It's called the Display Simulation. This affects both the viewfinder and the LCD screen. Previously in the Mark I, you were only able to simulate exposure or turn off the simulation entirely. Now you can turn on the exposure simulation and the depth of field, which closes down your aperture temporarily to show you the depth of field. Or you could just do exposure. Or you could set it so that the depth of field simulation only turns on when you press the depth of field button in the front of the camera. Or you can just turn it off entirely. The second feature I want to talk about is in the camera tab, page number two. It's called the HDR mode. When you go in here, there's two. There's moving subject and dynamic range. So dynamic range is just like the previous in-camera HDR, which takes multiple photos and then combine them into one. But if you go back to moving subject, the way this works is that it takes one photo and it spits out an HDR image much like your iPhone. And I'll show you some samples right now. The third feature I want to talk about is not new, but it's a combination of two that makes it new, which is the Auto Lighting Optimizer and Highlight Tone Priority. Previously, you could only choose to have one or the other. Now you can have Auto Lighting Optimizer and Highlight Tone Priority both on. The fourth feature I want to talk about is in the full auto mode, as you can see here. When you press this little brush icon with a color wheel around it, you press that and it'll give you either more blurry background or a sharp background. When you choose blurred, it'll force the camera to choose a wider aperture to give you more bokeh. I think this is useful when you're traveling by yourself and you hand your camera to someone else to take a photo and you want the blurry background. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the new features in the movie mode. So the first feature I want to talk about in the movie mode is the quick controls button, which is this Q button here or here. When you press that, you'll notice it says Q2, which means there is more than one page in the quick controls. You press that and it'll give you shortcuts to enable uh, movie cropping, which will get you to APS-C mode. And then there's a record options. This controls how you want the movies to be written on your card. And then high frame rate, which will get you to 120 frames per second in full HD mode. All of these buttons will save you from digging into the menus to get to these features. For me, the movie cropping button comes in especially handy when I'm vlogging outside and pointing the camera towards myself with this 16mm RF lens because I want that wider field of view to capture my surroundings. But when I'm pointing the camera forward, I want it to be close to 24mm, which is more of a natural field of view. And with the cropping button on, you can achieve that view. The second feature I want to talk about is also in the quick controls menu. I'm going to press Q. Now there's multiple different autofocus zones. And this is not new, but what's new in here is the flexible zone autofocus. You press set and it'll show you the normal square in the middle. But what's new is that you can change the shape of the square or the rectangle. And you can also move it around. So depending on your situation, this can become very useful. Now the third feature I want to talk about is also about the quick controls menu. You press Q and you'll see these layouts, the focus, frame rate, and auto white balance. To change this layout, you go back to the camera tab, page number seven, customize quick controls. Edit layout, press set one more time. Now I'm going to go down to white balance and I'm going to change this to let's say zebra exit save and exit now when i press quick control 
you'll see my zebra option right here. Also, please note that changing the quick controls menu doesn't affect the actual menu of the video screen before you get to the quick controls menu. So the fourth feature I want to talk about is in the audio section, which is in the camera tab, page one, sound recording. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see audio noise reduction. Now this feature wasn't there in the R6 Mark I, and I haven't tested this feature yet, but it's there when you need it. The fifth feature I want to talk about is how the shutter button works in the movie mode. So in the camera tab, page number seven, there's a menu called shutter button function for movies. Previously, it was only able to one shot autofocus with the shutter button. Now there's a servo autofocus. This feature is useful when you're temporarily trying to disable the server autofocus without having to touch the screen like this, which is very fiddly and difficult because it's so small. So what this allows you to do is you turn off the server autofocus temporarily, and whenever you press the shutter button, it'll activate the server autofocus, and when you let go, it'll stop the autofocus. And this is a little difficult to explain, so let me demonstrate. I'm holding the shutter here, and as I cross the soda can, I let go. Hold the shutter again here. I let go of the shutter here. Hold the shutter again. And the other way to start and stop the autofocus button is to use the autofocus back button here. And this is not a new feature, but I'm going to show you two as another option to achieve the same thing. So to do that, you go to the custom button menu, customize buttons. You scroll down to autofocus on button, set it to autofocus stop. Now you keep the autofocus button on the screen on and and whenever you press and hold the AF on button, it'll temporarily stop the autofocus. So in this test, I'm holding the AF on button when I'm crossing the soda can right here. And then I let go. And I hold on to the AF button right here. And then I let go. That's it.